I don't think we have any advanced group. Oh! <laughs> I've literally just played Guten Tag in the ladder. Uh, we had a fun game where I went uh, Mustang carry, surprise, surprise, and he went Overlord carry. I was doing mobile beacon shenanigans against each other. It was fun. Uh, <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Right. Um, I'm thinking supply specialist. Alright. <laughs> it makes me sound salty. I won the game, but uh, it was just kind of crazy. Turn one, he went single wasp, and I had no anti air visible. It was so annoying. Um. I much could do on the inside. I think I prefer Phoenix as her early on. Right, opponent is Heavy Armor Specialist. We have Crawlers and Phoenixes into Arc Lights and Tanks. That's not bad. He has to go Fang, really. It's his only real choice. If he's going Fang, I might just do Mustang to tease him. No, he's got tanks already. What am I talking about? Um. Whew. Tricky, 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 tricky. You know, I'm just gonna do some more Phoenixes. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this. I'll unlock Arc Light, buy another set of Phoenixes, drop them over this side. Because this was the side he prioritized before. Let's see how this goes. Vertical tanks, expecting um, balls. Just look at how good the Arc Light is at killing crawlers. I'm 100% at the mercy of these phoenixes killing the fangs. Yeah. This is the key unit. These fangs. so funky when you're in this mode. It reminds me of a um, Satisfactory when you're down here on the ground floor. <laughs> the perspective. Looking up at this huge factory around you. Oh, I should speed up. Ah, I'm messing around too much, sorry. Right. Done. <sighs> Can't buy it though. But I can position myself to beat it. And then I'll use those Vulcans as my front line. More Phoenix carrying the back line. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Not look sniper in case I want to do sniper range or the best part in a combo. Ooh, he's got heavy armor. Nice. Um, if you've got tanks into Phoenix, you should really try and get defense enhancement whenever you can. It's difficult round one, because or round two even, because you've got so little cash. Particularly if you buy an upgrade, rather than skipping. A single sniper. So many fangs. The problem is I go Vulcan here, he goes Fortress or Melting Point. Okay, um, we're going to lose this round, that's okay. Hopefully we'll kill some of his harder hitting stuff before the sniper kills everything. The sniper's going to get a level up. Hopefully we can get a couple of level ups in our phoenixes. The problem is shooting the fangs doesn't give you much experience. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. And these tanks are so tanky. So tanky. I'm going to press speed up as soon as it comes up this time. Oh, 
Alright. Uh, the problem with stacking enhancements, so he's got heavy armor on top of being a heavy armor specialist, is it's additive. Bonuses are additive, um, debuffs are multiplicative. Oh. Uh, no, you've got to do Orbital Bombard here, it's just too powerful. I'll do that there. Unlock Vulcan, drop the Vulcan here. If he spotted me take the enhanced range of Vulcan, he might already have. Giant Hunter, but if he goes Giant Hunter, then I'm the one who's doing the Missile Bomb, and he isn't. I'm going to put Sniper down over here to try and help out with these tanks. He didn't go Giant Hunter, but he didn't go Bombard either. So I'm intrigued. Oh, it's missing everything! No direct hit, it's just sideways. There's a direct hit. There we go. A couple of hits in the end. Took a lot though. See, so armor, he does have armor for these guys. No, I need him. Need this tank to get shot by the sniper. Whew. Close. Even with the bombard, that's kind of scary. <laughs> uh, last game I used a nuke to kill two overlords, so he's probably going to remember that. Um, but I think Wasp spawn is better early on. My play here is to put Wasps back here. And then two more Vulcans. Two more Vulcans makes my board so much stronger. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Just unlock them because I can. Wow, he's going full econ, just skipping, skipping, skipping. Kind of worried about these fangs then. More snipers? He's going sniper carry, okay. But I've already got millions of phoenixes, so I'm not too worried. I just need to get range on them and pay for the upgrades. A little bit worried about the Vulcans getting squished then, so I need fangs of my own in front. He's already got the arc light as the counter to that. And my extended range Vulcans are squishier than normal Vulcans, and these snipers have got even bigger range. Wow, okay. Mm. So is it range on Phoenixes or range on these Vulcans? Difficult. That wasn't too bad. I think these wasps are actually getting quite a lot of work for us tanking stuff. I'm just getting this midline set of phoenixes through. Hopefully we can save some of the Vulcans before the end of the round. And get a bit of damage on. Nah, this one's gone. This one's gone. Okay, but this one survived. We might even get a level up. Nah, he's ways off. Okay. Yeah, sorry I'm exhausted today. I only got five hours sleep last night. Yeah, it's my turn for the early start today. <sighs> yeah, I can afford the nuke. It's kind of rude not to. Yeah, the snipers will walk into it. Um, do I do fangs in front or do I do the upgrade play? I think I do the upgrade play this time. Leveling up a unit doubles the power of a unit and then you get an upgrade on top like range here. And it's just so much power just thrown onto the board all of a sudden. It should be a huge swing. 
Hmm. We're still very squishy though. The nuke could be good. He's probably going to nuke us as well. So it should cancel out. Uh, nothing I really want to unlock for zero. Or oh, can unlock for zero. Single missile, okay, fair enough. It's a decent missile. It won't kill these guys, but it'll leave them very low. Uh, missile does 3,000 damage and they've got just over 3,000 health. The nuke does 70,000 damage, so there's basically nothing that can survive that apart from level 2 fortress upwards. I'm not sure about this missile. Weakens the stuff and clears some of the chaff so the snipers go online sooner, but we'll see. Didn't get a lot there. Feel better when the nuke impacts and we clear this tower. There we go. No, don't go middle line. Get the tower. Get the tower. <laughs> it's gonna be on to the sniper to do the job. There we go. Nuke's crazy. Give me a lot of his health. Tech specialism when I wanted to go tech on them. But smoke is good as well. Smoke or tech? I think smoke actually. Um, the point was here. And then we're going to do range on these guys. And I think we do two sets of fangs, buy shields for the fangs, and temp range. Could do them in a vertical line so a missile doesn't kill them all. I think I will. Looks reasonable. Um. Rather they went into the enemy fang rather than went to the tanks. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Let's see what's going. There's his fortresses. Wow, with missile barrage. Interesting. I thought they had barrier because the way it's one positioned, but now he's buying the shields here. Oh, this is close. Can we get this bit of smoke covered? Or is it going to get caught by the shield? Covered. Nice. It's all on the Phoenix, is here. And the problem we're going to have is the Vulcan's going to get stuck on the fortress if the Phoenixes don't kill it. And the Phoenix is going to get hit by the missile barrage. But it's actually not very good at killing Phoenixes. Even a tiny bit of movement puts them off. Fortress down. This one's going to get this tower, though. Come on, Phoenix. No! Oh, literally the bullet was mid air over her. Now he's gonna kill this. Or not. Oh, he did. Okay. It's a close game. He's kept the shield up though. Okay. Um. Big fan of laser sights. Upgrade oh, epic Vulcans, they're now so much stronger, so much harder to kill. Alright, we're pushing for the win again, so... Rapid resupply, temp range, and must. Um, might use Missile Interceptor to shoot down his... Anti-Phoenix rockets. I think it's worth... And then drop a shield, drop a shield, because if I was him I would missile here and here every time. And I've got 400 left over, two more sets of phoenixes, yeah. Um, 
Um, anything else we need to do or think about? No, I'm happy with this. This is going for the knockout punch. We've just got huge range on this guy. Let's go. Let's see if the anti-missile tech shoots down the barrage. Does it shoot down the barrage? Yes, it does. Or some of it, anyway. There we go. Him sitting in the shield is so good for us. I feel better when the fortresses are dead, though. There we go. Wow, he's done well, though. I thought we had this, but it looks like it's balanced. This fortress. So we have melting points to deal with the fortress. Okay. Handle that. Let's speed it up. Hopefully it doesn't get this. Good. So he knows I'm gonna go melting point, right? Both missile barrage and a Vulcan with upgrades landing at the same time. That's gonna be huge. I can be really mean, huh? I think I should. Do the wasp slightly further in. Make sure the Vulcan's got space to land behind. Um, move the anti no melting point melting point melting point melting point and it was this guy that was the problem we need temp range I'd like to get range on, on him and a shield he's got a missile coming down but I don't think he'll aim at her I think I put the shield about here, so it's a little bit further back. Missile's kind of annoying, but I can be annoying as well. Uh, let's clear that. Actually, no, I would have gone for speed, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Wow, so many fortresses. This is the one that I'm scared of, because it's got the regen. Hey, we have a spectator. I think they all win. I'm not sure he's actually seen the last couple of rounds. The last couple of rounds have been quite heavily against me, actually. But this tower snipe could be huge. Get it, get it, get it. Thank you. Oh. Let's have a think. Um, he just had open spaces at the back when he knew I had wasp summon coming in and he'd seen Vulcan Descent, but it was quite a nice combo of Bombard, Wasp, and picking up the Vulcan all at the same time just overwhelmed this side. Uh, Fortress is a nice response. I wouldn't rely on it as you're on the anti-air though, though, I guess he does have the fangs as well, um, because it can be turned off by EMP. And a common strategy against Fortresses is just drop EMP. Um, storm callers to break the shields, do damage to them, and EMP them. It's like a perfect storm to counter fortresses. Wasn't that impressed with the anti-missile tech shooting down the fortress shots though. It didn't seem to do a huge amount. Um, but it's, you know, it's something at least. Um, tanks. Ah, wasn't that impressed. They were too far back. I think he should have been selling these tanks as he went along. As soon as he was going fortress, the tanks are done when they're not leveling up. They're not getting enough experience to level up. It tells you they're not doing enough. They're not being impactful enough. Um, melting Point just hard counters Fortress no matter how big and how strong it is. It'll just laser it down. Um, personally, I think Melting Points are a bit too strong. Um, but I'm a Fortress fan, so... <laughs> uh, obviously the Vulcan was the key unit in this game. With enhanced range on the Vulcan, the extra 50% attack and 20 range, plus a scope, plus range enhancement, he's got 210 range on a Vulcan. 
That's more than a Stormcaller. It's more than a Sniper with Sniper Upgrade. <laughs> it's absolutely bonkers. Um, he's sitting at this tower here and still able to hit the shield without moving. Nuts. Um, overall, I felt a bit bad for our opponent there, because I think he could have done quite a few things differently and probably beaten me here. I think Fortress was fine. I don't think Anti-Air Barrage was the correct one. I think he should have gone straight to Barrier. If he was worried about my Phoenixes, he needed to get more Marksmen and potentially some Mustangs to anti -air. Or give his Fangs Mechanical Rage and Range as that combination there to turn them into a threat as well. If he's going to use the Fangs as just Chaff, he needs to get Shield on them. Um, without any upgrades, they're kind of pointless. Like I only had two units of Fangs. But with shields, they probably did more tanking, or the same amount of tanking as four of these, even though there's just two of them. And it kept the Vulcan alive long enough for the crawlers to get in front and start tanking shots as well. Um, oops, sorry, talked for too long. <laughs> it's going to push me into the next round. We gained 25 MMR, yay! It wasn't a waste of time this time. Good stuff. Let's see. Oh, I'm rank one in my group. Oh, intermediate group two, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> I've clearly not played enough. Right, next round in 20 seconds. I'm going to stop this video here. I'll see you tomorrow for the next round.